Hello, good afternoon, and welcome to my vlog. This is a motorbike. Hello, good afternoon, and welcome to my vlog. My name is Random Life Productions, and this afternoon I'm going to do a Tech Tuesday, as today is Tuesday. Some of you all already know that I own a couple of image stabilizers, I mean gimbals. I have a DJI Osmo, this packet here, which I use for mobile vlogging. And it's a tiny little thing. And I use this to go around London when I'm live streaming. I have my lav mic with me and this is my go-to for my mobile phone. However, um, the problem I'm noticing with this is I do have a GoPro adapter, but when I use a GoPro, it tends to overweigh this. So it tends to put too much weight on this, hence overheating the motors. So it's not a doable, even though I have the GoPro adapter, I didn't feel it was a doable fix, but it's perfectly, perfectly good for my mobile phone. Now, in relation to my bigger camera, I have a bigger gimbal, which is this one. And as you can tell, I'm struggling to get a hold of it. And this is the Zion Crane Plus. And I use this for my bigger camera when I go out in the park and I wanna use my 70D and I wanna use the bigger lenses because this has quite a good ability to hold heavier cameras. The last few weeks I've been thinking about upping my tech and um, of course I got a packet from Amazon, happy face Amazon and um, what I bought was this, this is called the Feutech G6 Plus. Now the Feutech G6 Plus solves a few problems. If you're a run and gun type of a vlogger like I am, and I have a Canon mirrorless camera, and I also have a mobile phone, and I also use a GoPro, I decided that this potentially, if I can open the box, would be a really good solution. So I went on Amazon, and I ordered this little thing. It's a Feotech. G6 Plus gimbal and it's packed rather nicely in this little suitcase, very, very snugly. And so of course, inside this suitcase, which I'm going to unzip now, excuse the noise of the zip, there are several things. The first thing you get in this little, in this little accoutrement is the Feotech, little Feotech pack. And inside the Feotech pack, it says hello and within this you have your instructions and I guess you have a warranty card in there. The instructions are very short. I very rarely read instructions but I might do for this just to get an idea of how to set it up. Now stored inside this little bag as well is this. This is the very small gimbal and it can put, you can fit a DSLR camera on here, not DSLR, a small mirrorless or a small compact on here. And you can also fit a GoPro because there is an extension for the GoPro. Um, you also get a very, uh, you get your screws and you get a battery and the battery on this is nine hours and you can get replacements for them. It doesn't come with a tripod, however. However, I'm lucky because owning the Zion crane, I'm gonna use logic here and I'm ever hopeful that this will fit on to the Zion. So it's quite lucky. So I don't have to buy a new stand for this gimbal. I can stand it on here like so, or I can hold it. And honestly, it's so light that even when I have a camera on here, I'm not gonna feel that, that weight. So this is a really, really good gimbal. Um, and obviously it has a GoPro attachment. It has a um, 
cell phone attachment or a mobile phone attachment it has a camera you can put on it and the camera you can put on it is you can fit a Canon M10 or my M6 which I'm filming with today on the on here and you have a little screw to put it on and with all gimbals which I'm going to do later on another vlog you have to balance the gimbal so it's stabilized charge the battery balance the gimbal when it's stabilized and this is going to give you really really cool images so when you're filming you can do that DJI sorry this isn't DJI Theutech also have an app so the great thing about this is once you've figured out how to use the app you can actually do mobile time lapses on here. Um, it also has an on off switch. And like I said, I haven't even opened the instructions yet. This is just an unboxing. But all in all right now, I'm pretty pleased with this little thing. So now I am ready to go out and film. And one of the reasons I bought this was because I wanted to film my niece's wedding this weekend. And I wanted to have a gimbal which would be unintrusive for my small mirrorless camera. I'm obviously going to take my bigger camera, but I'm not going to use a gimbal on this. I'm probably going to use the monopod on this, or I can do some standing photos. And then I'm going to use the GoPros just for time lapses or filming parts of the venue. And it's great because you can also, there's a phone attachment and you can also put your phone on here and stabilize the phone. So all in all, and obviously I've got um, an upcoming trip to the US. So with this, it's so light and it compacts down pretty much, um, pretty much into this small box. So as far as I'm concerned, that's brilliant because I can fit everything I want into this box. There's also a couple of screws in here. If I can open it. Um, there's actually, that's the GoPro screw. This here is a GoPro screw because you have to mount the GoPro adapter on. And these are the two screws um, because when you balance the gimbal, you need the screws to put your camera onto the plate or put your phone onto the plate. So all in all, I would suggest this for, I think it was £279 and I think they're returning at $279 is a pretty good deal. Obviously this thing here is the USB, I think it's a, looks like it's a mini USB. So you have the mini USB charger, which I really like these mini USBs because when you go to any country, you just need to get a plug off that country. So I don't really have to take adapters. I just take my US plug. I can plug it in the US, I can plug it in the UK. I just have to take the plug for the country, which is fantastic. So for portability, it's one, I think I looked on the box and this thing is 1.5 kilograms, which is less than a bag of sugar. And it holds 800 grams. So 800 grams is one of these. I think the camera probably weighs about 300 and the lens probably weighs about 300. This is a 15 to 45 kit lens. You can probably use the 15 to 45 kit lens on it. Um, if you put one of these on like the 70D, which is a more substantive camera, you would probably break it. You would need the Zion Crane or um, the Feutech A1000, which is actually a pretty good gimbal. Anyway, I've been rambling on for 10 minutes. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm really big now on, on, on what I want to do with my channel. I love technology and I really want to bring my passion photograph for technology onto this channel. And I also want to review products that I, as a vlogger and as a YouTuber, I find useful. And I'm going to actually have to learn how to balance this. And uh, in the next few weeks, I'm hoping to show you some footage on here. I will do a tutorial on how to balance it. And I will also show you some of the wedding footage that I get off it. But like I said, it's a wonderful bit of kit. £279, $279, because the prices in the US are the same. You have to get one of these um, tripody things. You can get a Manfrotto tripod, which will hold this or like I use the um, Zion Crane one, Crane Plus, and it fits perfectly. So for me, I don't have to buy another tripod. So 
see what happens in the next few weeks. You might have a trio of um, gimbals and stabilizers. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you like this, please press the like button for me. And if you enjoyed it, please consider and subscribing. just when I was about to finish the vlog and say thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing, the darn battery ran out. So thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I really enjoy doing tech vlogs and I hope to do some more for you. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you again on another vlog. Thank you. Bye bye.